What's up, y'all? I know it's a pretty diverse group of people that's watching this, and that's cool. But this one's going out specifically to my black people. Now, I'm going to say this once. Yes, slavery was one of the most horrific things that ever happened in human history. Yes, racism still exists. It's probably always going to exist. Just get over that. And yes, there are law enforcement officers out there that take things too far, abuse their power. They're humans. We're a flawed species. With that being said, today we're going to talk about personal responsibility. Black people, it is 2014. Hate to break this to you. If your life is messed up, it ain't because of slavery. Your ass was never a slave. You probably ain't know nobody that was a slave. You probably don't know nobody that knew nobody that was a slave. Slavery ended a long time ago. Yes, it put us in a big hole in this country, but guess what? Dig your way out of it. Civil rights, about 50 years ago. We been, I don't know if y'all know, we won. We were like, Google it, we won. Yeah, it was a fight. They marched, they sat in. We won. So in 2014, if your life is messed up, look in the mirror, figure out what you're doing, what you're not doing, take some personal responsibility for yourselves, for your lives. I understand, you know, sometimes you can't help the hands you were dealt. You were born in, in the ghetto, in the projects, you were born in a bad situation, nothing you can do about that. But what you can do is do your best to get out of it. If you live in a messed up neighborhood, let, let me give you a little advice. Stop messing it up. Ain't no rich white man sneaking into the hood in the middle of the night, spray painting graffiti, peeing in hallways. George Bush ain't out in the neighborhoods selling crack on the corner. You know what I'm saying? If your neighborhood is messed up, it's because the people in the neighborhood continually mess it up. All this, oh, stop snitching after like, no, start snitching. Go out there, clean your neighborhood up, and then keep it clean. Somebody come through after y'all clean it up, messing up, snitch on them. Call the police. Y'all like to pull your little camera phones out and record little ignits and put it on World Star? Pull your camera phones out and record crime. Get out to the police so that way people can be prosecuted and we can stop this cycle. Teach your kids something. Guess what? Swag and Jordans and everything like that, that's cute. But guess what? No, get you an education. Get an education, get a job, better yourself, better your situation. Let's talk about the police, police violence. Told y'all the other day, you know, stop bringing stuff upon yourself, be complicit. The little video of my man Powell that got shot in St. Louis. Why would you think it's a good idea to run up on two cops when they tell you to stop, put down whatever you got? I'm going to keep coming at them. Then they're going to shoot me. Now it's black people. We're supposed to be mad. And oh my God, oh my God, we need to go out there and march right. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Stop doing crime. Here's the thing. Let's talk about Trayvon Martin for a second. Now, George Zimmerman had no, no business running over that kid. And it's a shame that somebody lost their child. But the thing that nobody talked about with Trayvon Martin, in this day and age, why is it that when people see a young black man, the first thing they think of, what's he doing? Is he up to no good? He looks like trouble. You know why that is? Because that's our perception. Because that's the perception that we keep giving people. The way we act, the way we carry ourselves, the fact that how many young men out there have criminal records before they turn 18? How many men out there before they turn 25 have been incarcerated at least once? And then we want to talk about, oh, if the justice system isn't fair, they come down hard on us. Okay, that may be true, but did you do it? Just because they gave you more time than they might have gave the white person, if you hadn't done the crime in the first place, you wouldn't have got any time. So stop using that as a damn excuse. If you already know that they're going to come down hard on you, that should be even more of an incentive to stop doing crime. Stop being ignorant. Stop glorifying ignorance. This little rap lifestyle that we looking at, Lil Wayne, all these rappers out there, that's not real life. That's the kind of life that leaves you dead or in jail. And it's a damn shame that in 2014, we are still talking about this. We are still talking about the same stuff that's been all in the Tyler Perry movies, all in the John Singletary movies that we was talking about back in the 90s, boys in the hood, black on black crime, stop killing and looting. We need to stop being ignorant, take some responsibilities for ourselves, change our perception, the way people see us in the world. You want the cops to stop messing with you? Stop giving them a reason to. You get pulled over for, B, for, for a DWB, for those of y'all don't know, that's driving while black. Don't be mad at the cop. Be mad at the brothers that came before you to give the reputation to the black man for a cop seat. Hey, look, there's a car full of brothers. They're probably up to no good. Get to the point where when cops pull us over for nothing, they keep coming up empty. Eventually, they'll stop pulling us over. But right now, hey, there's a cop full of brothers. Let's pull them over. Oh, somebody got a warrant. Oh, somebody got a weapon. Oh, somebody got some drugs. So yeah, they're going to keep doing it. Why? Because it works. You go to the crap table, you roll the dice, you keep coming up with seven, you keep rolling the dice. You start crapping out, you'll stop rolling them damn dice. Stop giving the police, stop giving the, the public at large reasons to look at us like we're second-class citizens. We get looked at like that because a lot of us act like that. 
And it may not be the majority of us, but it's the perceived majority of us. Because it's the ones that you see out there on the World Star videos, on the internet, on Facebook, just acting ignorant, just acting like we don't have no damn sense. Like we don't have pride as a people. Have some pride in yourself. Take responsibility for your life. Everything is not somebody else's fault. Sometimes it's just you, Empire. I'm just saying.